what time it is. Guys, I'm so excited. So last night before I went to bed, I clicked the go button and I published the page um, to let new members into the virtual paint party. And friends, we only do this twice a year. The next time we open will be in spring of 2021. So if you would like to join us, now is your chance. And I wanted to show you, I will be live painting um, and crafting all week long at 11 a.m. So join me each day. But I wanted to let you know that if you sprinkle the video, um, any of the videos from this month, um, any of them all week long, you will be entered to win my favorite paintbrushes. All you have to do is hit the S button. I think you know what I'm talking about. And, um, let your friends know. So there are a ton of links that I posted above. One of them is to join the virtual paint party because like I said, we only open um, twice a year. But there is also a, a brand new program that we just rolled out and it's an affiliate program. So you can make money um, just for sharing uh, our virtual paint party with your friends. So um, all you have to do is click the link and go sign up and then you can share your personal link with all of your Facebook friends and you will, um, you'll make money each month if somebody signs up. So super awesome. We like to, um, reward our people for helping us out. Good morning, Miss Kristen. Good morning, Miss Mary. I'm grabbing just a bunch of different, um, fall colors. Um, I've got my fall shirt on. Guys, I'm so excited about fall. Hello, Miss Beth. I'm just grabbing a bunch of different colors. And what we're doing today is um, I'm doing this welcome sign where you can change what the O is. So like right now, it is um, a pineapple. Uh, let me show you some of the others that we've painted in the past. Um, we have a watermelon and a shamrock and a heart and see how all of these they just velcro right on well um we also have a turkey which i'm gonna put him there i think for now because he's just so darn cute hello miss robin hello diana um and then we have another pineapple i have a super fun hat and this is a party hat for like birthdays and then i have a really cute little bunny all right so Anyway, what I'm doing right now, and friends, the project that I'm working on today and tomorrow, it kind of goes together. So you can do a welcome sign like this where you swap out the O, but tomorrow we will be painting this, which is a scallop wreath. And if you have, if you cut the six inch shapes, what you can do is you can attach them just like the, um, the O, you can use the same attachments and you can add them to your wreath. So I don't know if y'all remember, but back in the day, uh, they used to have the happy everything plates. Do y'all remember that? Anybody? Um, am I talking to, um, somebody who knows out there? Let me know if you remember the happy everything plates and they may still have them. I don't ever see them anymore, but, um, I want to say they were in like Hallmark stores. And the idea was you kept this like platter and you attached a different, um, what do you call it? A different shape for every season. So you could keep the same platter up um, and you just changed out the little shape. So this is kind of that same idea, except for it can be your door hanger where you swap out. So today we are gonna paint a pumpkin that is gonna go on the, um, the happy everything wreath so that when we paint that uh, we can use our um, little attachments all right so I've got a lot of paint here let me tell you what I've got in my little cup I've got white I've got a couple greens I've got an orange like a pumpkin orange and then I've got more of a tomato orange I've also got yellow brown gray I don't think I'm gonna do black but let me show y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to just take a um, colored pencil and I'm going to kind of sketch out. I've got a little pumpkin right here. Okay. I'm going to just kind of sketch out 
how I'm gonna paint him. So like I've got his leaf. Let's see. And then, yeah, that should be good. And then when you're doing a pumpkin, one thing you want to remember is you always want all of the sections to meet at, in the middle. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to section this off. But then I'm also going to do a section here. But remember, it needs to come all the way from this top part. Let me show y'all what, what I mean by that. All right. Oh, this is light. Okay. You see how this, this little part right here would meet up with this? Um, can y'all see that? Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. There we go. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. So what we're going to do, this is going to sound kind of weird, but just hang with me. Um, we are going to start with a little bit of white and a little bit of gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of brush on this undercoat in the direction that the um, pumpkin segments would go. I'm just going to kind of brush on some gray and white underneath here. Now, I don't want it to be all uniform. I want there to be some dark gray, some light gray, some just white. I know it sounds kind of weird. I'm going gray on our pumpkin. Don't shoot me. All right, so I just want, can y'all see the way that is? I'm just adding texture underneath. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna add a little bit more gray, a little bit more white. I'm just gonna kind of play. All I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of playing with texture. And I'll tell you why this works, okay? Orange tends to be so very transparent that if we put our texture underneath our orange, um, we actually get a better result. So you'll get more of that texture look with less paint and with less work. So that's what we're doing here. All right, let me show y'all what that looks like. Good morning, loves. All right, can y'all see that? How I just, I just did some texture underneath there. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna grab the green and I'm gonna go ahead and put my green and my brown on. Let's see, so I'm gonna do this darker. It's kind of like a, um, uh, like an avocado green. So I'm gonna do that on my leaf. And then I'm gonna grab the brown. Now, I didn't even rinse my brush, okay? I didn't even rinse my brush. Because I've got a little bit of that green in there and that's totally okay. All right. All right, so here's where we're at. Okay, guys, I know, stay with me. I know it seems strange, I know it seems strange. Um, Robin, is it breaking up? I hope not. That would be terrible. Are you watching from home this morning, love? Y'all make sure to sprinkle the video so you can be entered to win the paintbrushes. All right, now is where the magic happens. Now I'm gonna go into my orange, straight orange, and I'm gonna go right over the top of that gray, okay? Now I'm still gonna kinda go in that same like this segment pattern. So I'm still gonna kinda keep my brush strokes that way, but I'm just going right over the top of that gray undercoat. And I wanna show y'all what that looks like so that you can say, oh, well, that makes more sense. All right, I'm gonna show you this side. <laughs> I love this. Um, hoping someone would respond with it to just <laughs> Um, so Beth says it's okay there. All right, guys, look at this. Okay, can y'all see the texture underneath there? Do you see now why we added the gray underneath? Can y'all see that? It just added, we're gonna do more orange and we're gonna do other orange colors, but what that does is that gives us a base to work on so that we already have some built-in texture. All right, I've got to go around these leaves 
let me know if um, that makes sense to y'all. I know it sounds weird that we're putting gray underneath our orange. Let's say, good morning, Miss Sharon. All right, so I'm just covering this with my orange. I'm gonna kind of go real slow around the leaf because I don't want to get that leaf messed up. But then I'm just gonna drag that paint down. Okay, so friends, let me show you. This is one coat of orange with the gray and white base coat. Okay, can y'all see that? All right, you see how that adds like all that seg the segments underneath? Right, that, that's what I thought too. Like the first time I painted the gray underneath, I thought that's just dumb. I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, now I'm gonna go into my tomato orange and my white. And friends, I'm just gonna kind of mix. I'm just gonna kind of have some fun and mix some colors. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag some of that into, onto my pumpkin. Now, when you're doing a pumpkin, Friends, you always want your brush strokes to mirror the segments, okay? So mirror those angles, all right? So I added just a little bit of white and orange. Ah, I feel like this lighting is really bad. Okay. Now I'm going to go more into that tomato-y color. And we're going to add a little bit of that. All right, this is a darker, okay? You don't have to go darker if you don't want to, and you can even add a little bit of brown in there if you wanted to. But we're still just, just highlighting those segments. Now, when we drew this first one on, remember we wanted all of them to come from the very top. All right, I got a little bit of paint up there. But let me show y'all what this side looks like now. Y'all see that? See how I'm working that darker orange in? And if you add a little bit of brown to it, it'll be just even darker. But these are gonna be my segment lines. So I want those to be darker. And then it'll be kind of lighter in the middle where we had already done some of the lighter orange. It's looking so pretty. Y'all see that? See our orange? Yes, the porch leaners are so much fun. They are so much fun. Um, and I love that like, it kind of goes with, you know, your door hanger because you just swap it out um, each holiday. All right, I'm gonna add some more green up here. But what I'm gonna do, because I want some texture in my green too, is I'm gonna grab a little bit of brown and a little bit of green and I'm gonna mix that in. I got a little bit too much. Let me go back to my green. All right, friends, we're just adding some texture, some layers. Oh, it's so cute. All right, look, look, look. You'll see how pretty he is. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more brown to the top, but I'm actually gonna see, I'm gonna grab the black. Oh, I need to find an empty cup. So friends, our virtual paint party opened today, and we only open twice a year for five days at a time. We would love to have you join us. Um, we do all kinds of fun stuff in there. Most of it is door hanger related, but we also have a lettering workshop that we do each month. Um, and so what we've been working on is how to practice our lettering. And honestly, guys, if you don't practice, you don't get better. Is that, and that kind of true with anything? I mean, it's, I feel like it's kind of true with anything. But, um, so anyway, 
Um, I want so badly, um, I had so many people say they wanted to learn lettering. Um, so we did a whole workshop on it and we've started doing, um, we've started doing some projects each month, but the only way to get better is to practice. All right, I'm adding a little bit more orange to my pumpkin. This is just um, sh the straight orange. Just to tone it down just a little bit. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna mix a little bit of white in here, a little bit of brown and a little bit of orange. Add a little bit of that in there. Uh-oh, I got a paint boogie. All right, so we just keep painting our segments. Just make sure that your brush is always moving in that direction. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. Mixing a little bit of color. Make sure that y'all sprinkle the video if you wanna be entered to win a set of my favorite paintbrushes, these triangular. Right, yes, okay, Mary, thank you for that. Mary says, yes, practice does make better. That's right. It doesn't make perfect, in my opinion, but it makes better, which all we do, or all I do, is just try to be better than yesterday. So, all right, I'm going to add a little bit of brown right here. All right, so our pumpkin has all the texture, all the texture, all the texture. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this brown up top. And I'm gonna add some lighter green, which I'm just gonna mix a little bit of white with the green that I used. And then we're just gonna kinda highlight In. Thank y'all for sprinkling. I appreciate it. And if anyone wants to uh, have any questions um, about the virtual paint party, let me know. You can also sign up to be an affiliate. This is something that's really cool. It's brand new. But if you, S-H-A-R-E, if you sprinkle the video um, and you've signed up to be an affiliate, you can use your link. And if someone signs up because of your link, you'll actually make money each month. All right, so let me show y'all our little pumpkin. Can y'all see him? Can y'all see him? He turned out so cute. All right, so here is our little pumpkin. He is ready for some Velcro. Um, if you wanted to go back, this is something that's kind of fun. Let me, um, let me find mine real quick. Friends, one of my favorite things to do, I kind of like to go back and forth between, um, what do you call it, like just fun, whimsical, fun, whimsical painting to um, more of a, I don't know how to say it. What's the word I'm looking for? Anybody? Um, fun, whimsical, and then more like artsy. I don't know. Is that the right word? All right. I've got some gold here. I'm going to get a little bit of that. This is Dazzling Metallic Champagne Gold. And what you can do is you can actually take a palette knife. And we're going to just kind of, I'm going to turn this kind of sideways in here. And you can actually take and add more texture with a palette knife if you wanted to add to make it look a little bit more abstract. And I'm doing this this kind of gold, but we keep with the same, we're going to keep those same um, strokes. Thank you, Pam. All right, we're going to keep with those same strokes. And we're just kind of brushing some of this on. Give it a little bit more texture. Show y'all what that 
that's going to look like. Oh, friends, look how pretty. Okay, so can y'all see that? It kind of shimmers. And when that dries, it's going to have all of this super fun texture. So this is um, just something else that you can do to add a creative element. I'm going to wipe a little bit of that off. You could go back into your orange. You could add a little bit more that way. But this is just a fun way to add texture to your artwork. Thank you. Thank y'all for sprinkling the love this morning. All right, there we go. I added a little bit of gold texture to it. So now it's gonna kind of shimmer and have kind of that 3D effect. All right, friends. So I wanna talk before I jump off today. Tomorrow um, we will be painting this, which we can then add our pumpkin to, okay? Thank you, Miss Judy, I appreciate that. Okay, so this is what we'll be working on tomorrow. We'll be working on this. Oh, it won't let you sprinkle. I wonder why. No. Um, so we're, this is gonna be our happy everything wreath, except ours is gonna say happy life. Um, and then we'll attach our pumpkin. So what you'll need if you're gonna do this is there's a template um, linked above to the scallops wreath. And then there's a, also a link to um, get the patterns for all these little ornaments, which there's a whole bunch of them. If you missed the first part of the video, uh, I don't think that one's on there, but there's all, you know, all kinds in that set. So what we're gonna do is we will be working on that tomorrow. But I wanted to let you all know that um, the virtual paint party is open and members never pay full price. Okay, so if you're gonna sign up to be a member, don't go buy your templates and then sign up to be a member, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna sign up to be a member, then you want to grab the coupon codes, which are in the paid Facebook group and also in your members area, and take 50% off of your templates. So, um, make sure that if you're gonna sign up, you do that before you buy your templates. They get 50% off of every digital template they purchase as long as they're a member. So, um, another thing is we have our first members retreat coming up April 24th, I believe, of 2021. And all members get a ticket to come for free. We'll be doing two projects that day. Uh, we'll have dinner the night before. We're gonna go out to dinner the night of. I mean, it's just going to be a fun time to get together with some creative ladies who um, just want to come and have a good time. Um, <laughs> it's not because it's launch week. So Monday through Friday, you can find me right here at 11 a.m. So today, in case you missed it, we painted this little, um, this little wooden, you can see the shimmer. I love the shimmer. This little wooden um, pumpkin. And tomorrow we are gonna do this happy life wreath where you can Velcro all these different attachments right to it. The same attachments that you can use for your porch leaner. So that's what we're doing. Another thing, we do one new project every single month, a door hanger project. Um, we also have a lettering workshop every single month. We do pr um, giveaways inside the group just for participating. All you have to do is paint some stuff and post it in the group and you're entered to win. You can even practice your lettering and post it in the group and be entered to win. Um, another thing that is awesome about it is if you get in there and you comment and you're active and you are encouraging other women, um, we even have a contest for that. So we have two contests a month where I mail out physical prizes. So like paint brushes or watercolor pencils or um, markers or something that is um, art related. Um, I mail out two physical prizes a month. Uh, what else is there? Guys, they're so much fun. Um, so anyway, there's a whole vault. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. There's an entire vault of three years worth of videos that members get access to after 90 days. 
if you sign up to be a yearly member and you pay for the year in advance, you get access immediately. Um, I just have to go in there. It takes me like 24 hours to get you access. But um, you would be able to then go back three years worth of projects and use your half off code. So for $2.50, you could go back and paint all of those different signs. So like you could have a lot of fun. Um, the possibilities are endless. There's just so much in there. Um, I don't wanna say it's like drinking from a fire hose, but it can be, which is why we start you off with just one project a month. Um, we start you off with the lettering boot camp, which is, um, it is, uh, we did it in a four week section or four week, um, I don't know, but you get access to it right away. And so what you do is you just go through and you start learning how to practice and adding in fonts and just getting better and better. So yes, Mary says it's worth it. Now, Mary is one of our members. She's been with us for a long time now. <clears throat> and what's awesome is Mary is a born perfectionist, but she has started letting go. And I love that so much because used to, she would like stress out about her projects. And now she just has so much more fun because she let some of that perfectionism go. And um, that's what I want for all of you. I just want you to have a more joyful, creative life. Um, find some fun, guys. Like, life is too short to be serious all the time. Um, so, if you missed last week, <clears throat> we did this project live. I'll show you. Okay? Now, if you sign up to be a member, this project through the whole month of September is $2.50, but because you get a member discount of another 50% off, you can do this one for $1.25. So guys, there's so many perks. There are so many perks. Um, and like I said, my members never pay full price. You're so sweet. Um, Beth says she never thought she could do this. It's totally worth it. So friends, if, you, if you're a member, if you're not a member, but you want to help promote the virtual paint party for me, go up to the top, click on how to become an affiliate, go sign up and then grab your link and advertise it for me. Just post it on your main um, profile and say, hey guys, check out this membership. And if people sign up, not only are you gonna be helping them have a more creative life, but you're also gonna make money. So. I just wanted to be able to reward those people that help me get the word out. So I appreciate y'all so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our happy life wreath. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye, friends.